Hobart College is proud to welcome members of the 1972 Hobart lacrosse team back to Boswell Field. 50 years ago, these intrepid statesmen established a championship standard that gave birth to a dynasty. They opened the season with a 4-3 win over Hofstra in a defensive struggle that hardly foretold the offensive fireworks that Hobart would produce that year. The statesmen won nine straight to start the season, including a 24-0 shutout of Colgate and an 18-7 victory over Syracuse. The team bounced back from its only loss with five more wins, including a thrilling 11-10 win at Cornell and a 24-5 regular season ending rout of Penn State. Hobart's 14-1 record earned it the number one seed in the USILA College Division Championship. In the quarterfinals, Adelphi pushed Hobart to the brink. The Statesmen scored in the final minute of regulation to force overtime, then rallied from a two-goal deficit in overtime to force sudden death overtime. Hobart finally slipped home the game winner halfway through the fourth overtime period, stopping the game at 74 minutes and three seconds, the longest game in Hobart history. In the semifinals, the Statesmen dominated UMass 13 to two, setting up a championship showdown with Washington College. Hobart threatened to run away with the title game, firing home the first six goals, but the Shoreman rallied to tie the game at 10 late in the third quarter. The Statesmen scored the final two goals of the quarter to retake the lead and with a 15 to 12 victory, became the first team from Hobart and William Smith to win a national championship. Hobart finished the season with a record 17 wins and scored a then program record 289 goals, outscoring opponents by nearly 10 goals per game. The squad featured five All-Americans and to date, eight have been enshrined in the Hobart Hall of Fame. These statesmen have gone on to live lives of consequence, excelling in their chosen careers, leading in their communities, and remaining committed to their alma mater. Hobart and William Smith Colleges and the Statesman Athletic Association salute the 1972 Hobart lacrosse team.